Hello, my name is Raven, and welcome to my God Rays slash Light Shaft tutorial uh, using point lights this time. Uh, I know last time, the other tutorial I just uploaded a little bit ago, uh, it only covers directional lights. Um, and I'm sorry, but I had to make a second part to cover the point lights because I forgot to add uh, directional lights. So the difference between directional light and point light is obviously a point light emits from all directions and a directional light emits from one. Okay, so basically uh, when you're working with point lights and you want to use light shafts, they don't have to be uh, dominant and you also don't need a sky dome. They'll just work no matter what. And after I discovered, uh, well, yeah, you'll see. So I'm going to go to View, Browser Windows, Concept Browser, type in Tree, scroll down, and select my Static Mesh. I'm just going to place a few of these. Well, I'll just use this one. Actually, I could just use this one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Huh. My bad. Uh, I had it on lip mode. Alright, so now I'm going to right click, add actor, add light point. I'm going to bring it up to where it's kind of in the tree. And I'm also going to scale the light just a little bit. Um, adjusting the light's range uh, will also affect the uh, light shafts. Alright, I'm going to turn on render light shafts. Hold on, I need to put it on this side of the tree. As you can see, you can see it from here. When you're close to an object, you can see the light shafts. When you're not close, you really can't see it unless you get right up on the light. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try getting it out of the tree. might be helpful. So it can actually emit. Alright. You can sort of see it now. And there you have it. You have... Um, Light shafts with the point light. Uh, this was a rather quick tutorial, just to cover what I had forgotten in the other one. 